In the Montana Museum of Art and Culture, we have an amazing resource, a collection that's now 125 years old, and it is a teaching collection. It is intended to be used by the students and members of this community. STS stands for Students Teaching Students. The STS program is a great um, example of two academic programs on campus coming together and making use of one of the great resources on the university campus, and that's the Montana Museum of Art and Culture. So what we do is we bring students from the writing program, uh, essentially intro-level students, uh, and put them together with art students in the uh, School of Visual and Media Arts, and have them actually tour one of our rotating exhibitions at the museum. The Students Teaching Students program is now in its fourth year, and every semester there are over 500 students involved. There was this amazing resource with the MMAC, and so the project began looking at how we could get students involved with professional development and innovation, but also get them utilizing the amazing resources we have on campus. The Student Teaching Students project then enabled us to work to bring together students in a way that they had professional development opportunities where they were doing a speaking engagement and leading a formal tour in the MMAC, but also giving students the opportunity to hear insights and ideas from each other, which to us has been one of the most authentic and brilliant parts of the project. There's nothing more wonderful than seeing a student engaging a work of art directly and having a peer telling them about what they see, what they experience, and asking them the questions, the relevant questions that we all need to ask of works of art. The staple for us is the tour, and putting the student in direct contact with the work of art. When we create openings, bridges to the curriculum, their interests, their needs, what they're actually studying on campus, with what the visual arts have to say, very exciting things happen. I can hear the stream flowing. I can feel the wind that has knocked over this foliage. I can feel the Norse air coming through the collapsed roof. So my graduate students and the art students that act in the role of docent are experts. They might not know every single thing about every piece in an exhibit, but they get the opportunity to come and speak about the pieces that are important to them, that move them. The graduate students also have the opportunity to create a writing assignment based in their field. Then the undergraduates close the loop. They have this moment where they're novices. They enter the museum. For many of them, they've never been there before. This is a moment for them to, in a low stakes setting, really explore the creativity that happens when you step foot into an art exhibit. As the lights come on, shadows disappear and the man busies himself preparing for the day. In this tiny town, his work is limited to fishing off the Icelandic coast just as his father had done and his father before him. The majority of students participating in the STS program are new to the campus. In fact, most of them are uh, beginning freshmen. And as such, they have very little experience with this vast and wonderful resource uh, that is the Montana Museum of Art and Culture. So for many of them, actually, this is their first time engaging not just this museum, but any art museum at all. So we're very proud of the fact that they actually get to spend some time here understanding that this resource belongs to them. We try to provide opportunities for the artists, the writers, to meet with the artists uh, exhibiting their work. So that's a, a wonderful opportunity for them to get to know the thinker and the maker as well, to hear from them why they're exhibiting what they're exhibiting. It enables the students here to work with artists that are living in the community, not just UM, but Missoula and all across Montana. They meet with the graduate students, they meet with the undergrads, which showcases the generosity of the artistic community here in Missoula. An amazing surprise from this project has been looking at the writing that students complete after visiting. There is a freedom and fluency after looking at a work of art that has moved them, after listening to an art student talk about how art has shaped their life. It enables students to explore and blossom in their writing. This project and the ability to just sit in that space and be informed by the works of art, sitting under a painting or a photograph and just writing is an incredible luxury. 
I see a winding road snaking through the valley floor, flanked by snow-dusted mountains. The grays and browns splattered across the native vegetation is mirrored in the sky. It's a marvelous opportunity because there you can see the correspondence between two different art forms. The power is the power of communication. And that's witnessed in both writing and in the visual arts. That opportunity for an art student is, is magical. They're able to share, in fact, what makes them artists, what makes them interested in the visual arts. It's not unusual for art students, be they art history students or art criticism students, to find themselves at university museums writing about art. That is indeed how one learns and grows. But it is unusual for beginning writers is to find themselves in the art museum. So what makes this program unique is that combination between writing at its most fundamental level at the university and the use of the museum collection. Yeah. To have an art student doing the translating is actually even rarer and more exciting. Watching how students became more comfortable coming back, bringing their family members, was a way that this project has enabled us to work with our community and connect beyond the oval, which to both Dr. Chacon and myself is something that's incredibly important about the work that we do here. My hope is that once they come here that they'll be hooked and that they'll continue to visit here long after that first contact, first exposure to, to this experience. Our trip to the Montana Museum of Art and Culture was a tangible reminder to all of my senses that I thoroughly enjoy moving from image to image in catharsis and allow the artist to take me on a journey.